uh, striking a line or something. Personally, I can use this chart and read the entire Bible about three times. What I would do when I read the first time, I would put a little diagonal line. So I will put a forward slash, and then the second time I'm reading it, the same uh, same box, I will read a backward slash. So then if you see an X mark on the box, that would mean that you have read that particular book twice. And the third time I read it, I would circle inside the X with a red pen. And if I were to put more marks on it, on the boxes, then it would be too disorganized, so I don't do that. So I have used this chart multiple times. The reason we are asking you to read the Bible is so that you can know at least the fact about the stories in the Bible. This is, what I, this is what I felt while I was preparing the message and also by listening to the message. I was wondering, would, I remnants, would our remnants truly know about the Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacle? So the first point is about the gospel restoration. Pentecost is about the feeling of the Holy Spirit. And the tabernacle, Feast of Tabernacle, is about the mission's restoration. So then you need to exactly know why Passover, Pentecost, Tabernacle signify the gospel restoration, feeling of the Holy Spirit, and the mission's restoration. And it will be too difficult for me to explain all three aspects of the message today. First of all, these are the feasts that God commanded Israelites to keep when the time, in the time of Moses. So that they could commemorate these three feasts. God commanded them. So even now, Israelites or Jews, they keep these three feasts. To... Uh, I went to a pilgrimage in Israel, and I went to all these places for Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacle. 그때 이제 6월절에 그 예수님께 어, 하나님께서 모세에게 어떻게 지키라고 약속하신 말씀하신 음식은 뭐를 먹고 뭐를 어떻게 하라라고 약속하신 게인데. 그 음식을 그대로 지금도 먹어요 이스라엘 And there are also some foods that God instructed Israelites to eat in each feast. And Israelites or Jews even nowadays keep the same tradition. 정말 맛없어요. And they are all tasteless. 왜 정말 맛없는 음식을 먹으라 그럴까요? So why would they? Why were they instructed to eat all those? 빨리 un- 먹으라 그랬어요. So a bad food or you know a not so good food. It's because you know they were instructed to eat them fast. Eating is not what's important here. 지금 언약을 붙들고 가야 되는데 너네들 이, 이 먹는 데 시간을 지체하면 안 된다. 이제 그런 메시지가 이제 담겨 있죠. So that you know you need to hold on to the covenant and all the things that you're doing is for holding to the covenant. So you shouldn't lose hold of the covenant is what God was actually saying. 이스라엘의 식사 문화는 어떻습니까? And how's the food cultures of Israel like? 거의 반쯤 누워 가지고 한 2시간씩 하는 게 식사 문화잖아요. And they, you know, usually lie down halfway and they would eat about for 2 hours and that's the food culture. 그 여러분 그 뭐냐? 누 다빈치인가요? 누가 그랬지? 그 최후의 만찬 그림 보면 그 식사하는 응? 그 모습 보이잖아요. 그렇죠? 그게 이스라엘의 식사 문화입니다. And you see also the painting called the Last Supper, maybe I guess painted by Da Vinci or something. And that also shows you or depicts the Israelites food culture. 근데 그렇게 먹지 말고 이 맛없는 음식을 빨리 먹으라는 거예요. But instead of having or delighting or enjoying that food, God instructed them to eat them fast or swiftly. 자, 설명은 여기까지만 할 건데요. 왜 그러냐면 여러분 성경을 읽어야지 그런 내용들을 
좀 팩트를 알수 있다라는 거죠. That would be the extent of the explanation that I will give today. But you know what I'm trying to say is you have to read the Bible to know about all those facts. 그래서 성경 일기표를 나눠드리면 적어도 일주일에 선몇 개는 그셔야 됩니다. So if I pass you all these, the uh, if I pass out the the reading card or reading chart, please you will have to at least have some sort of lines in the chart. 제일 좋은 건 여러분 아침에 일어나서 성경 한 장씩 읽고 기도하는 게 제일 좋죠. And the best method would be for you to wake up in the morning and then read the Bible in the morning and then fill out the chart. 어 어쨌든요 6월절이라는 거는 이스라엘 백성이 이슬 어 애굽의 노예에 돼 있는데 이스라엘 백성으로 인하여 애굽에 열 가지 재앙이 내리게 됩니다. Anyhow, the Passover is about the Israelites having ten plagues. When Israelites were in the midst of, uh, were in the Egypt, there were ten plagues. 그건 알죠. You know that, right? 네, 열 가지 재앙이 만 거. Ten plagues. 그게 여, 그걸 여러분이 모르면 제가 이제 설교하기 굉장히 힘들어져요. If it's if you don't know about that, then that will make me very difficult to give the sermon to. 마지막 재앙이 뭐였냐면. 이제 애굽에 태어난 모든 장자들 그리고 동물의 첫 새끼가 죽는 그게 재앙이었어요. The last plague that was befalling on to Egypt was to have all the firstborn of any animals including humans to be slaughtered. 그때 이스라엘 백성에게 하나님께서 명령하신 가장 중요한 명령이 뭐냐면 양을 잡아 양의 피를 문 임방과 문설주에 칠하라고 말했어요. And at that time there was a special instruction that was given directly from God and God said that if you were to put a lamb's blood on your paste on the doorpost or, or on your pillar then I will pass over you. 제일 중요한 게 뭐냐면요. 양의 피를 바르는 거예요. And so the most important part of Passover is pasting the blood of the lamb. 그래서 아까 우리 난예배 때 읽은 본문에 보니까 피를 볼 때에 내가 너를 넘어가리라 그래 넘어가리라 그래서 6월절입니다. That's why you know if you look at the scripture that we just read during the second service, it says that if you paste the blood of the lamb on your doorpost, that I will pass over you. That's why the feast, this feast, is called Passover. 사실은 영어가 더 쉬운 게 이거는 이제 한문이에요. 넘을 유 그. 넘어가다라는 뜻인데 영어로 그냥 패스오버잖아요. 그게 넘어간다는 거예요. I guess the word English, English word for Passover is easier because it's directly it's self-explanatory. It's Passover, so passing over. Korean word is a little bit complicated because it uses the character Chinese characters. 자, 그럼 양의 피를 바를 때다 다른 형식으로 발랐겠죠. So then, as people paste the blood of the lamb, I'm sure everybody had a different method of pasting the blood of the lamb. 만약에 이제 요셉이하고 저하고 둘이 양의 피를 발랐다. Let, 바르는 스타일이 분명히 다를 겁니다. Let's say Joseph and I were to paste the blood of the lamb on our doorpost, then of course we're going to have a different style of pasting them. 똑같이 양의 피를 바르지만 분명히 요셉이는 붓을 썼을 거야. So we would be using the same blood to paste on the doorpost, but I'm sure Joseph would use a brush. 그런데 이제 절대 안 흘리게 다 이렇게. 깔끔하게 가지고 깨끗하게 예쁘게 칠했겠지. So then I think he would, you know, he wouldn't want to drop any blood on the ground. So maybe he would use the brush and then maybe clean the brush and then put paste the blood on the lamb in a clean manner. 난 어떻게 할까요? What would I do? 막 칠하겠지. I would have, you know, pasted it anyway. 난 그냥 막 많이 바를 거야 이렇게 막 maybe, 이렇게. Maybe I think I would have pasted it, and you know, over pasted on my doorpost. 방법은 달라도요. 양의 피를 바르는 건 똑같아. So the methods may be different, but pasting the blood of the lamb itself is the same. 내가 요셉이 바른 건 문을 보고 나서 야좀 많이 바르지 그게 뭐니라고 말할 수 있겠지. And maybe looking at Joseph, how Joseph put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost, I may ask him, what is that? Maybe 요, you should have put more. 반대로 요셉이가 만약에 어 내가 바른 걸 보면서 지저분하다, 더럽다. 이렇게 느낄 수도 있겠지. Maybe in contrary, he would look at my doorpost and he might be thinking that I may have pasted the blood on lamb in a dirty manner. 그런데 중요한 거는요. 이렇게 바르든 저렇게 바르든 간에 양의 피만 바르면 돼. And the important thing is not about how you paste the blood on the lamb, but actually putting the blood on the lamb itself. That's what's important. 그런데 그 시점에 우리 정복이가 갑자기 궁금증이 생긴 거야. Maybe at that time Joshua on all of a sudden maybe developed a curiosity. 하나님이 양의 피를 바르라 그랬는데 혹시 그냥 빨간색을 바르면 어떨까? 어? 
궁금증이 생긴 거 And let's say he wondered, you know, God told us to paste the blood on the lamb, but what if I paste a red paint? 그래 가지고 양의 피를 안 바르고 빨간 페인트를 똑같이 막 칠했어. 어? But let's say, you know, so then he didn't paste the blood on the lamb, but instead he put the red paint all over his doorpost. 그게 겉으로 보기에는 비슷하죠. So then externally speaking, that would look about the same. 그날 밤에 죽는 날이야, 이제. But that night he would die. Or he's his first born would die. 그 복음을 우리가요. 정확하게 알지 않으면 안 되는 거예요. If we don't know the gospel accurately, then that's not going to work. 자기 성격대로 다르게 조금 다르게 예수를 믿을 수는 있어요. You may believe in Jesus in maybe a different fashion than other people. 베드로처럼 믿을 수도 있어요. Maybe you believe in Jesus like Peter did. 우리 베드로 다 무시하잖아. All of us may, you know, um, oftentimes we ignore Peter. 여러분 베드로 무시하면 안 돼요. You shouldn't ignore Peter though. 베드로 무식하다면서 무시하면 안 돼. People say that Peter is quite stupid, so don't do that. 베드로가 얼마나 대단한 사람인지 알아요? Do you know how great a Peter, uh, great Peter was? 일단 성경의 사도행전 3장 4장에만 보면요. 베드로가 8,000명을 영접시켜요. If you look at Acts chapter 3 and 4 alone, you see that Peter make 8,000 people believe in Jesus. 전도 8,000명 하기 전에 베드로 욕하면 안 돼. So before you evangelize to 8,000 people, you cannot criticize Peter. 베드로 얼마나 대단한 사람이냐? 물위를 걸은 사람이에요. How great of a person was Peter? He even walked on Jesus or walked on the water like Jesus. 예, 예수님이 물위를 걸어온 거 보니까 예수 베드로가 나도 걷게 해달라고 막 뛰어들어서 물위를 걸어간 사람이라고. So when, when he saw how Jesus was walking on the water, he wanted to walk on the water like Jesus too. So he jumped in the water and he walked on the water with Jesus. 그렇게 믿을 수도 있는 거고요. So you may believe in Jesus that way. 그다음에 또 you 뭐, could. 바울처럼 믿을 수도 있는 거. But 거예요. also you could believe in Jesus like Paul. 중요한 건 뭐냐? 예수 그리스도 올바른 복음을 알아야 된다. But what is important here? You need to know the accurate gospel of Jesus Christ. 맞아요. Is that right? 그래서 6월절이라는 거는 뭐냐면 양의 피를 발랐을 때 양의 피는 복음을 의미하는 거죠. So then the Passover is about pasting the blood of the lamb. The lamb signifies Jesus Christ the gospel. 그때 양의 피로 말미암아 복음으로 말미암아 나의 모든 저주가 끝났다라는 게 유월절이죠. So then, by the blood of the lamb, by the gospel, all my curses have come to an end. That that is the significance significance of Passover. 이 사건으로 인해서 출애굽 하게 되잖아요. And because of this incident, they come out from Egypt. So ha- had an exodus of Egypt. 애굽은 무슨 뭘 뜻합니까? So what does Egypt signify? 사단의 왕국을 뜻하는 거잖아요. So Egypt signifies Satan's kingdom. 바로의 손에서 해방받은 거예요. So they were set free from Pharaoh's hand. 사단을 뜻하는 거죠. So Pharaoh signifies Satan. 유월절 양의 피로 말미암아 세상에서 사단에서 모든 저주 가운데서 해방받았다라는 것이 6월절입니다. So by the blood of the, blood of the lamb and the gospel, they came out from Egypt, they came out from Pharaoh, they came out from the kingdom of Satan and Satan's grasp as well. 그래서 내가 구원받은 이 사실을 기념하고 지키라고 말씀하신 것이 바로 6월절이라는 거죠. So now you are saved. So in order to commemorate the salvation, the action of salvation, they were instructed to pa- keep the passover. 이해되시죠? Do you understand now? 그 찬송가 내가 그 피를 유월절 그 양에 찬송가 이해돼요, 뭔지? And so that's why you know there is a hymnal that goes, you know, oh that's why I sing him I sing the praise of the blood of the lamb of passover. 피를 볼 때에 내가 너를 넘어 가리라 이해돼요? And then the song continues and say that as I as I see the blood of the lamb on your doorpost, I will pass over you. 또 다른 말로는요, 유월절 양의 피를 받은 이스라, 바른 이스라엘 백성은요, 출애굽한 이스라엘 백성은 다시는 다시는 어, 애굽으로 돌아간 사람이 없습니다. In other words, also among the Israelites who came out from Egypt and who went through this exodus of Egypt, there was not even one who returned back to Egypt. 한번 우리가 구원받게 되면 끝. Likewise, if we are saved once, that's it. 물론 불신앙에서 광야에서 죽은 사람들도 많아요. Of course, there are people who died in the midst of wilderness because of unbelief. 그렇지만 애굽으로 돌아간 사람은 없다고. Still, not even one went back to Egypt. 여러분들이 한번 구원받은 하나님의 자녀가 됐다. 영원히 돌이킬 수 없는 축복을 받은 거예요. So if you become a child of God, saved child of God once, then you have already received this blessing that no one can return back. 그러니 유월절 
구원의 감격 복음의 축복을 회복해라. That's why for the sake of the salvation you need to restore the gratitude and gratefulness of the salvation. 구원 받았으니 구원을 누려라. So because you received the salvation, enjoy the salvation. 진짜 구원 받은 거 맞아요? Are you really saved? 맞아요? Is it true? 그러면 이제 구원을 누리면 돼. Then you just have to enjoy the salvation. 왜? Why? 그 구원을 내가 세이브 됐다는 말은요. 내 모든 문제가 완전히 끝났다는 거예요. So to say that you are saved means that all your problems have come to an end. 진짜 복음이면 끝이에요. So if it's true gospel, then that's it. 나는 한 번씩요, 약간 어, 두렵고 그리고 좀 부끄러울 때가 있어요. At times, I get, I become fearful, or I, I, I fear some things that I, I become scared. 그러니까 좀 부끄러울 때가 있어. Or I become embarrassed. 그게 뭐냐면 사람들이 나보고 자꾸 괜찮대. 그게 부끄러워. A lot of times people say that it's okay about something. 그러니까 나보고 괜찮다는 말은 뭐냐면 좀 어, 내가 좀 규모도 있고 사람이 좀 괜찮다고 이렇게 말을 해서 oh, so people a lot of people around me say that I'm I'm a good person or I'm a I'm a fine person and every time I hear that I I feel a bit embarrassed. 근데 그게 왜 부끄럽냐면요. 나 아니에요. And the reason I am embarrassed by that is because I'm not a fine person. 나는 그렇게 규모가 있는 사람은 아니에요. I'm not all that fine. I don't have much of a reasonable attitude. 게을러요. I'm quite, you know, lazy. 나는 좀 노는 게 좋은 사람이야. I like playing. 나는 시간만 나면 놀고 싶어. If, any, if, if time permits, I just want to go play. 그 진짜 내가 어쩔 수 없이 뭘 하는 거지. 내가 좋아서 하는 건 아니에요. You know, I just do things because I have, I have to do it. It's not that I enjoy doing those things. 공부가 한 번도 좋아 본 적이 없어. I never enjoyed studying. 공부가 좋다고 하는 사람도 있더라고. There are some people who say they like studying. 공부가 재밌대. They say studying is fine. It's fun. <웃음> 죄송 없죠. <웃음> really, they are not my person, not my people. 아니 공부가 어떻게 재밌어? But how can you have fun while studying? 일하는 게 즐겁다 하더라고. People say that working is fun too. 나는 그런 적이 없어요. I've never found that fun. 나는 공부가 즐, 즐거운 적도 없고 일하는 게 즐거운 적도 없어. I've never found study fun. I've never found working fun. 공부를 솔직히 내가 잘한 적도 별로 없어. And also, I've never actually studied that well either. 복음이면 다라고. The gospel is everything. 내가 복음 만나고 나서요. But after meeting the gospel, my life completely changed. I used to be bad at studying. People couldn't find it believable. It's true. The most of it, all of you here, you are like my people. 공부 뭐 이렇게 여러분 보니까 공부를 되게 잘한 사람은 별로 없는 것 같아. I don't think there are a lot of people. I don't think there are people who study really well here. 공부를 뭐 되게 잘했다. 그러면 여기 있을 사람들이 아니지. Because if you studied well, you wouldn't be here, I guess. 그럼 공부 공부 다 진짜 잘한 사람 봤거든. I've seen someone who studied really, really well. 상관없이 뭐 유학생이고 뭐 상관없이 대학에서 그냥 모셔가더라니까. Regardless of their status, whether they be the international student or what, someone, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They were all, you know, picked up by a, for a full ride. 뭔 말이냐면요. 진짜 복음 알고 나서 내 인생이 바뀌었다니까요. What I'm trying to say is that after knowing the gospel, my life truly changed. 복음 안에 들어오니까 아니 공부가 되더라고. And after coming into the gospel, I could study. 진짜요. Truly speaking. 그 전에는 내가 공부하기 싫었어요. Honestly, but before that, I didn't want to study. 내가 진짜 복음을 누리니까 공부도 돼. When I truly enjoy the gospel, study took place. 내가 진짜 복음을 누리니까요. 경제도 축복이 와요. And when I was really inside of the gospel, blessing and finance came to me. 내가 진짜로요. 이 우선순위가 바뀌게 되니까요. 하나님이 나를 축복하신 게 느껴져요. Truly when my priority was changed, I could sense that God was blessing me. 내가 진짜 복음의 축복을 누리니 지혜가 생겨요. And because I enjoyed this blessing of the gospel, wisdom came. 이해됩니까? Do you understand? 그래서요. 여러분들 진짜 복음이면 답니다. That's why I tell you the gospel is everything. 그러니까 진짜 복음 누리면 돼. So just enjoy the true and genuine gospel. 옆에 있는 사람 얘기하세요. 복음이면 다. Greet the people around us. Gospel is everything. 
Gospel is everything. Gospel is everything. Nothing is a problem in gospel. Nothing is a problem in the gospel. 진짜라니까. It's true. 맞아요. Do you understand? Is that right? 근데 복음이 안 누려지는 거라니까요. But you just don't enjoy the gospel. 그래서 여러분들이 진짜 이 복음 안에 완전한 뿌리를 내리게 되기를 축복합니다. So I hope you root down completely in the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. 그러면 유월절을 구원받았는데 유월절을 지내면 되는데 왜 오순절을 또 지내라고 했어? And now, if we have this Passover, then we can just celebrate the Passover. 자, Why do we have the Pentecost? 이스라엘 백성이 출애굽을 했어요. So Israelites came out from Egypt. They had access from Egypt. 어, 홍해 바다를 건넜어요. And they crossed the Red Sea. 그 다음에 어디 갔어요? And then where did they, where did they go? 사막에 사는 광야에 사는 거예요. They lived in the wilderness, the desert, basically. 아니 그 이스라엘 그 많은 사람들이 사막에서 어떻게 살아갑니까? So Israelites, all these people, all the numerous Israelites, how do they live in wilderness? 아니 그 수십만 명이 나와가지고 아무것도 없는 사막에서 어떻게 살아가냐? So tens of thousands of people, the Israelites, came out from Egypt and they had to live in the desert. How could they live in the wilderness? 이것도 보니까 영어가 더 사실적이야. Even this one for Pentecost, I think. The English word is better. Self-explanatory. So penta means five, right? You do. And the Korean word for the Pentecost is also. 수는 뭐야? 십. And then and then 순 in Korean word for Pentecost is 오순절, and 순 means ten. 그래서 이게 오십절이에요, 오십절. So the 오순절 means fiftieth day. 그왜 오순절이라고 말했을까요? So why do you think it's named Pentecost or fiftieth day? 이스 어, 출애굽한 이스라엘 백성들이 광야에서 다 죽을 거라고 얘기했어요. And so they were there was a prophecy that Israelites who came out from the Egypt they will all be demolished in the wilderness. 그런데 출애굽한 이스라엘 백성이 광야에서 50일 만에 보리를 거두게 됩니다. But Israelites who came out from the Egypt within 50 days they were able to harvest barley. 그래서 우리가 어 다른 말로요. 이거를 맥추절이다라고 불러요. So we use a different word for Pentecost, and that's called Feast of Harvest. 이거를 뭐냐면은 보리 맥자를 써요. And Korean for harvest, Korean for Korean word for the Feast of Harvest is 맥추절. And mek is for barley. 그래서 보리를 추수했다라는 맥추절이라고 써요. And so then they use the the term to describe the day to harvest barley. So it's the day of harvesting barley. 그래서 우리가 이거를 요즘엔요 어, 맥추절을 또 봄에 이렇게 지키죠. So we also commemorate the day of the harvest or feast of harvest in the spring. 근데 이걸 뭘 의미하냐면요 이한번 구원받은 이스라엘 백성을 하나님이 끝까지 책임지시고 인도하신다라는 뜻입니다. What this signifies is that when God saved the Israelites, He means that He will take care of the Israelites and guide the Israelites forever. 이스라엘 백성 광야에서 굶어 죽었어요? So did Israelites fast in the wilderness and died? 못 말라 죽었어요? Were they thirsty to death? 뭐가 내렸어? What happened? 만나가 내렸어요. Manna came down. 메추리를 내려줬어요. And quails came down. 목마르다 하니까요. 바위에서 물이 나왔어요. And they were complaining of thirst. God made the spring water to spring out from the stone or rock. 그 나라는요. 땅을 파면 물이 안 나오고 재수없게 기름이 나온 나라예요. And in a long day, long time ago, these this land where they were was actually, you know, when they dig the ground, they wouldn't have the spring water. They would actually have, you know, the 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 petroleum. 아, 그나 그때 그때 당시 기름이 나오면 어디다 쓰면 먹겠어 그거를. And so the back then they didn't find any use for the petroleum. How, what would they do if they see the petroleum coming out from the rock? 그, 내 생각에는 마라의 쓴모니라는데 그게 기름이 아니었겠나라는 생각이 나 혼자 해보는 거예요. And so personally, I think you know, going back to a different verse of the Bible, they there's a person named Mara, mean who which means the bitter water. I think the bitter water actually meant the petroleum. But anyway. 그런데 그 나라에서 마라의 쓴물이 단물로 변하게 하는 하나님의 능력으로 이스라엘 백성을 마시게 했다고. So the Israelites they tasted the blood or the power of God who turned this Mara's the the, the bitter water into the sweet water. So they saw that work of having the water, the spring water. 죽었어 안 죽었어? Did they die in the wilderness? 안 죽었어. They didn't die. 이스라엘 백성이 광야에서 굶어 죽지 않았어. So Israelites did not die in the midst of the wilderness. 말라 죽지 않았어. They were not thirsty to death. 물론 죽은 사람이 있어요. Of course there are people who died. 왜 죽었어요? Why did they die? 불신앙에서. Because of their unbelief. 땅이 갈라져서 죽고 
그 다음에 불뱀에 물려 죽고 그런 적은 있어요. And so the earth were divided and they were you know, struck, struck by a, a, a serpent and they were all died that way. 한번 구원받은 이스라엘 백성은 하나님이 보호하신다라는 게 오순절입니다. So the Israelites who are saved once will be responsible or will be taken care of by God, guided by God. 하나님 우리에게 응답하신다라는 거예요. In other words, God will answer the Israelites. Oh, God will answer us as well. 그럼 어떻게 되냐? 우리가 하나님의 인도를 받기 위해서 항상 성령의 충만함을 받아라. So then, in order to Uh, in order to receive answers from God, we need to receive the filling of the Holy Spirit as well. 여러분, 응답은 언제 올까요? So when does the answer? When do answers come? 기도하면 응답이 옵니까? Do answers come when you pray? 맞죠. It's true, I guess. 맞지만 기도가 안 되는 영적 상태가 있다고. It's true, but there is a, you have this spiritual state where you can't pray. 성령 충만이라는 건요, 내가 어느 날 갑자기 받는 게 아니에요. Filling of the Holy Spirit isn't something that you receive out of nowhere. 여러분의 영적 상태라는 게 있습니다. There is uh, something called spiritual state. 자, 예를 들어 봅시다. Let me give you an example. 감기가 어느 날 갑자기 걸려요? Do you just catch can't or cold all of a sudden? 암이 어느 날 갑자기 걸려요? Do you just catch cancer all of a sudden? 갑자기 밖에 나갔다 왔는데 암이 걸렸어? So it's like do you go outside and come back home and find yourself having a cancer? 그렇지 않다니까요. You don't you're not like that, right? 요즘에 성인병이 가장 무서운 병이라 하더라고. And they say that the the uh, 당뇨병, 고혈압 이런 거 제일 무서운 병이라 하더라고. And so they say that this um, incommunicable diseases are actually more frightening. 그러니까 그 당뇨병이 어느 날 갑자기 걸리냐고. Like also diabetes, you just catch it out of nowhere, like all of a sudden. 설탕 한 봉지 딱 먹으니까 당뇨병 걸렸어? So do you t- if you consume like a whole bag of sugar, do you just catch the diabetes? 아니래니까요. No. 그게 오랜 그 상태가 가서 그 상태가 되는 거예요. And so that happens that incommunicable diseases happen because of the accumulation of your old nature, old habits. 몸이 등치가 좀 크잖아요. But I'm quite big, I guess. 오늘 갑자기 커졌어? But was I always big? 40년 이상 꾸준히 먹은 결과에 몸이죠. I fed myself for 40 years constantly and that's how I became big. 어떤 렘넌트 그래요. 목사님 저는 아무리 먹어도 살이 안 쪄요 그러더라고. And so this one remnant would say that, oh, pastor, if I, even if I eat a lot, I don't get bigger. 멍이야. They're all lying. 그럴 리가 없어. Really, that won't happen. 그 내가 같이 먹어봤어. And I've actually done that too. 왜냐면은 그 친구하고 같이 어, 여행을 다녀봤어. And I actually had a travel or trip. With that person. 많이 먹어도 살안 찐다는 그 친구하고 내가 같이 여행을 다녀봤다니까. I went to a trip with the people or with the person that who who told me that he or she doesn't get bigger. 어림 없어요. That makes no sense. 그 정도 먹어선 살이 찔수 없어. And I I saw how this person eats and I could tell that that person won't get big. 어디 그따위로 먹어놓고 살찌기를 바래. And I was like, well, how can you hope to be hope to get bigger by eating that small? 나 정도는 먹어줘야지. 살이 찌는 거지. And I was like, maybe you need to eat more like I do. 뭔 말인지 알아요? Do you understand? 응? 상태라는 건요 오랜 기간 가야 되는 거라고. So. As for you to arrive at a certain state, to call something a state, it means you need to go through a certain stage for a long time. 건강하려면 어떻게 됩니까? What happens if you want to be healthy? If, what do you do if you want to be healthy? 갑자기 나가서 어? 한 10 마일 막 달리면 건강해져? So let's say you just walked outside right now, and if you were to run 10 miles right now, would you be ha- healthy all of a sudden? 제발 그러지 마세요. 병 납니다. Please don't do that right now because you're going to get, you're going to be ill. 적당히 그 꾸준히 해야 하는 게 중요한 거죠. So you need to be you need to exercise adequately, adequately and you have to do that over a long period of time. 이 영적 상태라는 건요. 내가 성령 충만 받는 이 영적 상태가 분명히 있어야 되는 겁니다. So for a spiritual state to be set firm, you need to have had all these processes before. 언제 응답을 받냐? 내가 when, 응답받는 영적 상태가 돼 있을 때 응답이 오는 거죠. When do you receive answers? When you are in a spiritual state where you can receive answers. 하나님 내가 교회도 열심히 나오고 했는데 응답이 안 온다면서. And people say, "Oh God, God, I came to church diligently but I don't receive any answers." 교회를 물론 나오지 말란 말이 아니고요. 
내가 영적 상태가 돼 있으면 열심히 기도를 안 해도 응답이 온다. Of course I'm not saying you don't have to come to church, but if you do come to church then even though you don't work hard, you will be you arrive at a spiritual state where you can receive answers. 네, 원래 얘기를 안 하려고 그랬는데 오늘 낮에 간증을 들으면서 아, 좀 얘기를 해 줘야 되겠다라는 생각이 들어요. I didn't want to talk about this originally, but while I was listening to the testimony this morning, I thought that maybe I should speak about this. 그 뭐냐면 너무 당연한 거라 내가 얘기를 안 하려고 그랬어요. I didn't want to talk about it because it's so rightful and obvious that I, you know, I didn't have to mention it. 그리고 사실 간증이라고 하기도 부끄러운 거라 내가 얘기를 안 하려고 그랬는데 아까 아 은혜를 받은 은혜를 좀 나누는 것도 좋겠다라는 생각이 들었어요. And I didn't want to talk about it because you know I thought it was rightful and it's about the grace of God. So, uh, but while I was listening to the testimony this morning, I thought you know because it's a great grace of God, I wanted to speak about it. 우리 지난번에 비전 트립 갔다 왔죠? You know, last time we went to the vision trip. 뉴욕을 갔다 왔어요. 그렇죠? We went up to New York. 이 혈기 왕성한 이 남학생들도 밤에 금방 다 뻗을 만큼 피곤해서 그렇지? And these all, you know, strong and you know, healthy gentlemen here, they were all knocked down in, in the evening. 우리 아이들은 엄마 없이 아빠랑 갔잖아요. And my kids, they also went to vision trip without their parents. 근데 얘네들은요, 아빠가 방에 없는데도 잠이 들었어. And these children, they were all falling asleep even though, you know, their parents were not in the room. 엄마 아빠 없는데 방에서 잠이 들었어. 둘다 얼마나 so 피곤한지. They, they, they were, that's how tired they were. So when they were in the room, they usually sleep with their parents, but they just fell asleep without their parents. 나도 피곤했겠지. But of course, I too was tired, I guess. 내가 더 피곤하지 않았겠어요? Do you think, don't you think that I would have been more tired? 운전했잖아. Because I was driving all the way. 맨하튼에서. In Manhattan. 그뭐 맨하튼에서 운전하는 거그 쉽지 않잖아요, 솔직히. And honestly speaking, driving in Manhattan is not all that easy. 그리고 여러분 내려주고 나는 파킹하고 또 걸어왔잖아. And then after dropping you off, I also parked my car. And I walked away or walked all the way to our lodging. 뮤지컬 티켓 사려고 두 시간 서 있었잖아, 혼자서. And then I stood in line for two hours to just get the tickets for musical too. 그 내가 말안 하다가 마지막 날. Alex한테 부탁을 했어. And well, you know, I, I wasn't speaking about this up until the last night, but I told Alex. 내가 계속 비타민 C 먹고 막 호흡하고 참다가 마지막에 부탁을 해서 야 가서 나이큐를 좀 사오고. Before I took the vitamin C and I, you know, I was enduring it all all the, throughout the trip. And the last day, I called Alex. I told him. I asked him to get me Nyquil. 피곤한 거 내가 티나면 그래도. 민폐잖아요. 같이 같이 다니는데. And if I were to just, you know, show people that I am tired and exhausted, then it would have been, you know, too tiring for the, the entire group. So I didn't want to do that. 그날 나이키를 먹고 자고 아침에 이제 데이키를 또 먹었는데요. 아, 졸립더라고. So then that night I took the Nyquil and went to sleep, and then morning I took the Dayquil, and I, still I was drowsy. 그 내가 올 때는 고속도로 올라서 알렉스한테 운전하라 그랬어. And then on the way back to DC, I got on to the expressway or a highway and I asked Alex to drive. 현정이가 몇번 물어보더라고. And the Hyunjung multiple times he she asked me. 목사님 진짜 알렉스한테 시킬 거예요? And she was like, "Oh, can you really ask Alex to drive?" 진짜 시킬 거냐고. Are you actually going to ask Alex to drive? 그 나는 내가 확실히 확신이 있었어. I had my own assurance. 내가 운전하는 것보다 안전할 거야. And I had an assurance that Alex would be driving safer than I, 지금 졸린데, I would. 운전을 해? And I was so drowsy, how could I drive, right? So then I asked him to drive. And then on the Friday night, we had the Friday service and we went back home. And the next day, something happened. 내가 저기, 어, 윌리엄스버그, 아, 해리스버그 and I had to go to Harrisburg the next day. I woke up early in the morning and went to Harrisburg. 그날, 어 사실 버지니아에 클래식컬 싱어 컴페티션이 있었어. And then that day there was actually a, a competition for classical music classical competition music competition in that in the state of Virginia. 어 아침에 일어났는데요. 목이 너무 아픈 거예요. And then uh, in the morning when I woke up my sore th- hurt or sore my th- throat 목이 너무 부어서 말도 안 나올 만큼 막 몸이 아, 목이 아픈 거예요. My throat sore a lot and I couldn't even speak in the morning. 근데 토요일 날제 와이프가 아침에 클래스가 있어요. And every Saturday uh, my wife usually has a class. 그래서 아이들 차에 타 둘이 데리고 갔어. So then, you know, because of that I asked all my kids to get in my car and I took them to the Harrisburg to the competition. 그 대학에 렘넌트 있는 애 불러가지고 우리 애들하고 놀고 있어 그랬어. And then I called remnant who studies in that area, and then I t 
told him or her to play with my kids. 나는 가서 이제 컴퓨터션 참여했어. And then I went to the competition. 일주일 내내 노래 한 번도 못 불렀어. And I could not sing for the remaining week. 불렀니 안 불렀니? 내가 노래 불렀어 안 불렀어? Was I singing or not? 못 불렀어. 부를 수가 없어. 어. 연습을 할 수가 없어요. I could not practice. I could not sing. 일주일 내내 연습을 한 번도 안 했어. So I never even practiced for the duration of the week. 아침에 근데 목 이만큼 벗어. And I could see in the morning. I could see my neck was swollen. 원래는 내가 가면 안 돼. So then, originally, obviously, I shouldn't have gone. 사실 내가 전문성 내가 응답 받아야 되는 부분이잖아요. But it's also the aspect of the expertise that I have to receive answers for, right? 결론. The conclusion. 어 진짜 하나님의 은혜로요. 그 위너가 됐어. Truly, the, by, by the grace of God, I was the winner of the competition. 이게 뭐냐? 응답을 말하는 건데요. 내가 그거 놓고 기도 안 했다고 컴패션 놓고. What I'm trying to testify is about the answers, but I didn't even, you know, practice for this. I didn't pray for this competition. 하나님 내가 컴패션에 우승하게 해 주세요. 그런 기도 안 했다고. I didn't say a prayer saying that God let me win this competition. I didn't say that. 그렇다고 해서 어느 날 갑자기 내가 우승한 건 아니에요. But also, it's not that I all of a sudden just won out of nowhere. 평상시에 내가 하던 게 있을 거 아니에요. Of course, there's something that I've done out of routine. 평상시에 내가 기도하면서 응답받은 부분들이 있을 거 아니에요. Of course, there are answers that I received while I was praying in regular basis. 이해됩니까? Do you understand? 무슨 말 하는지? Do you know understand? Do you understand what I'm talking about? 똑같이 어, 비전 트리 갔다고 해서 어, 전복이가 나갔는데 거기서 우승할 리가 없지. In the same way, you know, Joshua, if Joshua were to just go to the same competition out of nowhere, then of course he's not going to win. 내 영적 상태를 어떻게 만들어 놓느냐가요. 너무너무 중요한 거라니까요. Like guys, how you set your spiritual state is very important. 중요한 거는 대부분 여기서 다죽 끝났다라는 사실입니다. And another important thing is that most of the, everything was done through uh, all the way up until the Pentecost. 거의 대부분 이 싸움 하다가 열로 못 넘어갔다고. And the vast majority of people had this uh, dispute about the spiritual state and they could not go over the feast of the tabernacle. 자, 수장절은 뭔데요? What is the feast of tabernacle? 수장절이 뭔데 못 넘어갔어? What is the feast of tabernacle that people couldn't 자, go over? 이스라엘 백성이 there. 광야 생활을 마무리하고 이제 가나안으로 들어가기 직전입니다. So it's right before Israelites finished their life in the wilderness and they were about to enter into the Canaan land. 그 전까지는 만나 매출하게 먹고 살았어. And up until that point, they fed themselves with manna and quails. 하나님이 단한 순간도 역사하지 않으면 다 굶어 죽어야 되는 상황이야. It is like, you know, if God didn't work upon their lives, even a second, they would have all been demolished. 물론 지금도 우리가 하나님 역사 속에 은혜로 살아가는 거긴 하지만요. 수장절을 들어갈 때, 이 가나안으로 들어갈 때 처음으로 하나님께서 이스라엘 백성에게 곡식을 모아다가 창고에 들여라라고 명령하셨어. Of course it's the same thing that we were supposed to, you know, we need God's grace to live our lives, sustain our lives even now, but you know, at that moment when Israelites were about to keep the feast of tabernacle, God instructed them to gather all the harvest and store it in a in a room. 그래서 이거를 우리가 어, 수장절을 또 다른 말로 추수감사라라고 부르죠. And so the feast of tabernacle is also called Thanksgiving Day. 그 뭐를 우리가 추수하는 거냐면 이제는 세계를 가나안을 정복해야 되니까 너희들이 농사 지을 시간도 없고 일할 시간도 없으니 곡식을 쌓아놔라라고 그래. Basically, it's a feast of ingathering. They were basically told that you know if you have this important time, then you're not going to have time enough time to gather all the crops and the store in your storehouse. So now take your time and do this. 일곱 족속 삼십일 왕을 상대해야 되니 이제는 너희는 준비해라라고 말. And now that you have to come against or go against the seven tribes and 31 kings, you need to make yourself prepared or make yourself ready. 자. 다른 말로요. 이게 세계 복음화예요. In other words, this also signifies world evangelization. 그래서 사명을 회복해라 그랬어요? That's why it says you have to restore a mission. 사명을 회복해야 되는데 우리는 전도 전도까지 가지도 못하고 여기에서 끝난다니까? We have to restore the missions, but we don't even reach the level of evangelism. We just finish our lives this way. 대부분의 이스라엘 백성이 광야에서 다 죽었다니까요? Vast majority of the Israelites they passed away in the wilderness. 
자, 그럼 우리가 어떻게 할까요? So then what must we do? 광야 생활을 끝내야 돼. So we have to finish our lives in the wilderness. 간간히 맨날 주워 먹고 매출 매출하게 주워 먹는 그 수준에서 이제는 벗어나야 돼, 여러분들이. So then we have to finish or we need to come out from the 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 level of just feeding ourselves. 지금부터 우리 렘넌트들은요. 결단을 내리셔야 돼. Starting now, our remnants must come to the conclusion. 내가 지난번에 우리 주목사님도 말씀하셨고 저도 얘기를 했는데 렘넌트들이 말을 잘안 들어. So we talked about this. I talked about this to the remnants and even Pastor Ju talked about this to the remnants but I don't think our remnants are listening carefully. 1년만 복음에 미쳐 보라고 그랬잖아. We told you to go crazy about the gospel at least for a year. 1년만 복음에 미쳐 보자고. Let's just go crazy about the gospel. 어떤 일이 벌어지는지. And see what happens. 딴데 미치지 말고 내 영적 상태가 복음에 미치도록 한번 so, 해보자고. Don't go crazy about something else, but just go crazy about the gospel, just at least a year. 다른 거 말고 진짜 복음에 내가 각인되도록 한번 해보자고. Not something else, but let us really be imprinted with the gospel. 우선순위를 진짜 여기 한번 둬보자니까요. Let's put our priority really upon the imprint of the gospel. 만나 주소 먹다가 매출하고 주소 먹다 갈 거냐고. So are you going to live your life like Israelites and just eat manna and quails and pass away? 여러분에게 주어진 사명이 있는데. You have a, a personal mission that God. 여러분에게 has given 주어진 to you. 천명이 있는데. And you have this heavenly mandate that's given to you. 여러분에게 주어진 소명이 있는데. You also have the calling of vocation that God has given to you too. 그거 놔두고 맨날 내 영적 상태 여행 했다 해독이다가 성령 충만 받았다 시험 들었다 성령 충만 받았다 시험 들었다 성령 충만 받았다 시험 들었다 어느 날 강의 앞에 흐르고 있지. Are you all going to just go and have all these conflicts and be like, oh, I'm going to be filled by the Holy Spirit one time, and then you have, fall into trials one time, and then move back and forth like that, and then just die? 무슨 강의 올라? 어? 며칠 후, 아 며칠 후 요단강 건너가 만나리. Just a few days later, a few days later, it says, "I will we'll cross the Jordan River and meet there." 이제 우리가 렘넌트들은 어 진짜 갱신해야 돼. So now remnants, you do have to renew yourself. 수요일 날또 메시지 또 나왔어. We, um, we have the same message in, um, in the Wednesday service too. 수요일 날 주목사님이 설교 때 저한테 뭐라 하시냐면 렘넌트들을 반을 죽여내야 돼. And during the Wednesday service, Pastor Ju said that um, I'm going to um, bring our remnants half to death. 왜 그러냐면 이 영적 상태가 살아나야 되니까 반 죽여서 영적 상태로 회복시키란 말이에요. And so the reason is because you know because our remnants have to have this important spiritual state, I will even have to force them to have the spiritual state as what he was basically talking about. 그 내가 지금 참고 있는 거예요. But I'm just holding it inside. 반만 죽이려고. Just so that I could, like he said, kill you half to death. 한번 그냥 halfway. 죽을 것 같아서, 어? 다 그냥 다 죽을 것 같아서 내가 좀 참고 있는 거야. 반만 죽여야 되니까 내가 참고 있는 거예요. And then I was instructed to just kill you just halfway, right? Like I shouldn't kill you completely, right? 이제 여기에 우리가 머물러 있으면 안 된다고. So that we, we cannot remain stagnant in this level. Amen. Amen. 응답 진짜 받아야 된다니까요. We really have to receive answers. 가나안 정복하고 미국 정복하고 뻗어 나가야 된다니까요. 이제 여러분들은. We have to conquer the Canaan. We have to conquer everywhere. We have to conquer the entire world. 맞아요. Is that right? 여러분 가운데 빌 게이츠나 스티브, 스티브 잡슨이나 이런 같은 응? 이런 사람 나오면 안 돼. So we can't have among you. We can't have people like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs. 빌 게이츠나 스티브 잡스가 대단해요. So are Bill Gates and Steve Jobs great individuals? 대단하다고 사람들이 그러대. People do say that they are great individuals. 난 아무리 봐도 영적 문제 투성인데. But no matter how much I look at them, I only see the spiritual problems. 마귀 자녀인데. They are the children of the devil too. 빌 게이츠는 모르겠고 스티브 잡스는 확실히 마귀 자녀인데. I don't know about Bill Gates, but Steve Jobs completely. I know for sure that he was well, a child of the devil. 빌 게이츠는 뭐 누가 크리스천이라 그러대. As people say that Bill Gates is a Christian. 나 몰라 그 사람은 잘. I don't really know about that person. 스티브 잡스는 어? 확실히 마귀 자녀인데. But Steve Jobs, surely he is the child of the devil. Right? 사단을 숭배한 사, 하단, 하단 사람인데요. He's someone who used to worship Satan. 그러면 그 사람이 대단하게 보이면 돼안 돼. Then can you really perceive him as someone who was great or not? 불쌍하게 보이게 되게 바랍니다. You need to look at him as a pitiful person. 그래서 그런 여러분 그런 사람 되면 안 돼. And you shouldn't be someone like that. 사단의 능력으로 그 정도면 여러분 능가하면 되지. So if he was able to achieve that level with Satan's power, then we need to surpass or transcend that level. 한국에요. 
내가 아는 분들이 있어요. 그분들이 그 컴, 그 뭐냐, 휴대폰 앱 하나 개발했어요. But among the people that I know in Korea, there was someone who invented an app. 그 휴대폰 어플리케이션 그거 개발해 가지고 얼마를 벌었냐? 1인당 20 million씩 벌었어요. These, this, these people, a team developed an app in Korea and earned about 20 20 million. 세 명이서 앱을 개발했는데 세 명이서 그거를 이제 어쨌든 그 팔게 됐는데요. 66 million 달러를 받았어요. So these three people came together and made a team and they developed an application for smartphone and they got about 66 million dollars. 그래서 세 명이서 나눠 가지고 세금 내고 난게 20 million씩 나눠 가졌어요. So then they divided those that amount of money into three and they paid their taxes and later it came out to be 20 20 million dollars per person. 20 million 달러 가지면 좋겠지. It'll be great if you have 20 million. 그 정도면 dollars, 우리가 right? 전도 운동 할수 있겠지. With that, with that kind of money, we can do evangelism movement correctly, right? 그 중에 두 명이 임마누엘 설교의 집사님들이에요. But two of them, among the three, was were are the deacons in Emmanuel Church. 그분요, 그분 두 분들이 30대예요. And these two people, they're in their 30s. 여러분 하나님 지혜 주시면 된다니까. So just God just needs to give you the wisdom. 내가 진짜 이유를 가지고 여기에 올인해야 돼요. So with reason you have to go all in for the spiritual state. 한번 진짜 한 1년만 복음에 미쳐 보자니까. Let's go crazy about the gospel at least for a year. 응? Just for a year. 진짜 한번 성경도 한번 읽어 보고. Just for a year let's read the Bible together. 진짜 메시지 속에서 한번 살아보고. Let's live our lives in the midst of the messages. 진짜 정식 기도 속으로 한번 들어가 보고. Let's go into the scheduled prayers. 안 해봤잖아. We haven't done that yet. 안 해보고 나서 안 된다 하지도 말라고. You've not tried it. We can't just say it's not going to work without trying. 집에서 저도 아이들을 키워요. I raise kids at home. 밥 먹다 보면 아빠 물 떠줘. And while we're eating, they sometimes will say, Dad, give me some water. Napkin. Napkins. They will call out. 엄마 밥더 줘. They call out, Mom, I want some more food. 무슨 우리가 무슨 어 웨이터 웨이트레스 같아. It's like we are their waiter and waitress. 너무 시켜 팁도 안 주면서 이거. They don't even tip us, but they ask too much of us. 근데 저는요 내가 해줄 수도 있어 해줄 때도 있어요. A lot of times I do that for them. 근데 잘안 해줘. But many times I don't. 왜 그런지 아세요? Do you know why? 네가 할수 있는 건 네가 해. I would tell them if you could do it, do it yourself. 너무 어, 시원님 너무 첨진한만하게 씨고 좀 아빠 물좀 이렇게 하는 거거든. And sometimes you know my daughter would just smile at me nonchalantly and be like, Dad, I'm on water. 내가 깜빡 속고 떠줄 때도 있어. Sometimes I would be deceived, but I would basically get her the water. 너무 이뻐서. Because she's so adorable. 근데 웬만하면 내가 시원아, 네가 할수 있는 건 네가 해라고 말해. But if possible, I would tell her, you can do it, then you can do it yourself. 차에서 뭐 떨어지면 뭐 손이 안다 어쩌고 하는데 제 끝까지 시켜요. So if they drop something in the car, then they they're like, oh, I can't reach it. They want to pick it up. 안 된대. They will ask them to pick it up no matter what. They will say, I can't, I can't reach it. 이거 안전벨트 채우는 것도 잘안 된대. And they were saying that you know because I have the seatbelt on, I can't reach it properly. 내가 차를 세우고 끝까지 시켜. So then I will stop the car. I will ask him or her to pick it up. And I'll be like, try again. 안 해보고 안 된대. And then she wouldn't even try, and she'd say it's not gonna work. 해보지도 않고 안될것 같대. Without even trying, she would say it's not gonna work. 해보라고. And I would tell her to try. 그럼 나는 되게 좋아하는 선전이 있어요. And so then there is another commercial that I really like. Nike 선전. It's um, it's a Nike commercial. 뭐라 그랬어? What did they say, Nike? Just do it. It's called just do it. Their catchphrase is just do it. 하라고 좀. Just do it. 응. 뭐를 해? Do what? 기도도 좀 하라고. Pray. 성경도 좀 읽자고. And read the Bible too. Amen. Amen. 응. 어제 성경이니까 좋았지. Was it fun to read the Bible last time? 성경 충만 막 오는 것 같지. Did it feel like you're filled with all this? 이게 하루 읽어서 오는 게 아니라니까. But you don't receive the feeling of the Holy Spirit. Just read the Bible one day. 그걸 내가 성경을 계속 읽다 보면 어느 날 아, 말씀이 참 좋구나라는 게 느껴지는 If you continue to read the Bible, then one day you will just feel like the word of God is so sweet for you. 내가 진짜 기도하다 응답이 오게 되면 아, 기도가 좀 좋은 거구나 이게 느껴지는 거야. you're praying if you truly receive answers, then you will feel that the answers to prayer. 예배를 하다가 오는 응답들이 있다니까요. And there are answers that are received while worshiping. 주나 주리 담임용 예배했어요? Last week we had the, the multi-ethnic devotional service. 그러니까 이 예배를 통해서 응답받은 사람들이 많아. And then it seems like a lot of people received answers. 나도 응답받았어. I received answers too. 
아니 지난주에 사실 나도 결단한 거예요. So last week I myself made a resolution. 지난주에 내가 사실 Kennedy Center에 1시부터 10시까지 리허설이 있었어요. I was supposed to actually be at Kennedy Center from 1 o'clock to 10 uh, last week, last Sunday. 작년에 내가 컨트랙을 한 거예요. And that was the contract that I made last year. 작년 10월 달에 컨트랙이 왔고 그 컨트랙 스케줄을 보내줬고 이 스케줄대로 네가 할수 있으면 사인해서 보내라 해서 내가 사인해서 보냈다니까. So I received the contract last October and they already have the schedule for rehearsals and they were saying that if you follow if you can follow this or the schedule then sign the contract and send it to us and I did sign it I sent it. 그때 내가 이만 아 여기 초대교회 부목사 아니었잖아요. So back then when I was signing the paper I was not the the associate pastor of this church. 그래서 내가 그때 요령은 이제 일부 예배하고 갈 요령으로 내가 사인해서 보냈다니까. And you know in my mind I was thinking that maybe I could just come to the first service and then go to Kennedy Center afterwards. So I signed the contract and went there. I sent it there. 분명히 컨트랙에 내가 사인을 한 거라니까요. So surely I did sign my contract that way. 컨트랙에 내가 사인했는데 안 갔어 지난주에. I did sign it for that schedule, but I didn't. 내가 컨트랙을 위반한 거예요. I didn't report to my rehearsal schedule, so I basically violated the contract. 사실은 굉장히 크리티컬한 거예요, 저한테는. So it's something really critical actually. 근데 안 했어. 안 갔어. But I didn't go. 근데 그거를 사실은 담임 목사님도 처음부터 제가 이렇게 어 오페, 오페라 리허설도 있고 하기 때문에 좀 이렇게 들쑥날쑥한데 좀 이해해 주시면 좋겠다고 했더니 어 그렇게 당연히 이해한다고 다 말씀하셨었어요. But also honestly, I've also told my senior pastor, our senior pastor, and I told him that oh I I have the uh, the rehearsal schedule for that week and I can't be there and please you know excuse me and then he said that he's I'm fine I can just go there. 아니 다민종 예배 스케줄이 딱 나오는데 숨이 탁 막히더라고. So then when I saw the schedule for the multi-ethnic devotional service. That almost stopped me breathing. 아니 그 전주도 할수 있고 그 다음 주도 할수 있는데 왜 내가 딱 리허설하는 그날 딱 잡혔냐는 거지. You know the multi devotional service could have been the week before, week after, but some for some reason it was that day, exact day that I had to report for. 그래서 목사님께 말씀드렸어요 이번에 사실 이렇게 스케줄 겹쳐서 이번에 제가 참여 힘들 것 같다 그랬더니 목사님 알겠다고. So then I told the pastor and I said, you know, oh, I didn't know about this, but I already made the the contract, so I have to be there I have to report to the rehearsal. And the pastor excused me. 사실은 내가 다민종 예배 한번안 하고 리허설 하고 와도 되는 거야. But it's true that I could have just you know missed out this one devotional service and then go to the Kennedy Center and come back. 근데 결단을 내렸어. But I made a resolution in my heart. 이번에는 내가 안, 안 가야 되겠다. I determined not to go this time. 그럼 안 가면 크리티컬한 것도 있지만 또 문제는 뭐냐면 돈을 못 받잖아. But if I don't go, of course it's gonna be critical. Uh, hit for me, but also at the same time, I would not receive any pay for that day. Right? 되게 큰 돈은 아니지만 그래도 내가 그걸 받아야 모두 내고 모두 내고 할거 아니에요. Although it wouldn't be a great amount of money, then you know at least I, I need that to at least you know do something to pay the bills and stuff. 어쨌든 안 갔어. But anyhow, I didn't go. 이돈안 받아도 난 산다. And in my heart, I was thinking that I don't need this money to survive. 다민종 예배인데 진짜 세계 복음만 얻고 우리가 기도하고 있는데 내가 예배 이번 주 내가 예배해야 되겠다. 결단했어. At our church, we've been praying about the multi-ethnic devotional service and multi-ethnic ministry. So in my heart, I made a resolution not to go to the retreat or rehearsal that week. 당연히 전화가 왔지. Of course, I got a call. 왜안 오냐고? They were wondering where I am. 그래서 내가 이제 빨리 말했죠. Why I wasn't there? And 아, I told him. 아, 지금 emergency situation이 빠져서 내가 못 갔다고. And I said, oh, there's a emergency that I couldn't go. Emergency situation은 맞잖아요. 지금 갑자기 긴박한 지금 담임 예배 해야 되잖아. So it is an emergency situation, right? Because it's, we were emergently we had this the multi devotional service. 여러분 다음 번에 컨트롤이 안 오면 이제 여러분이 저를 먹여 살려야 돼요. So the next time I don't receive any contract, you need to feed me, I guess. 근데 그날 밤에 진짜 희한한 일이 벌어졌어. But that night something strange happened. 한국에서 전화가 왔어. I received a phone call from Korea. 갑자기 후원하시는 분이 나 전화 와 가지고 선교천국에서 후원금을 보내 준다는 거야. And so my supporter called me and uh, that person said that the missions administration will send me a missions support. 보내 준다는 게 아니라 보냈으니까 확인해 보래. And it's not that that person actually said that they will send the mission support, but that person said that they have already sent the mission support. 보통은 보낼 but 거라고 얘기를 해주는데 이미 보냈으니까 most 확인해 보래. Time, most of the times people say that we're going to be sending the support, so please uh, keep in mind. But instead, this time they called and said that we have already sent you the mission support fund, so just check your account. 
내가 속으로 생각했지. 얘네들이 미쳤나 왜 그러지? So then I thought to myself, is something wrong? Why were they doing this? 내가 힘들다고 도와달라 할 때도 별로 안 도와주던 분들이 왜 이분들이 성령 충만 받으셨나 왜 그러시지? And then I was wondering to myself, you know, these people that I've already asked for support, when they, when I was asking them, they didn't actually make a great response. But this time around, there's something strange. 딱 떠오르는 거예요. Then I thought. 아, 내가 다민종 예배하고 지금 이걸 포기했잖아요. Then I realized, you know, I gave up on my rehearsal or contract over the multi-year devotional service. 진짜 신기한 게 뭐냐면 내가 받을 돈에 딱 10배가 왔어. But the strange thing is but something amazing is that I got the exactly 10 times of the money that I was supposed to receive from the contract. 지금 뭐 얘기하는 거예요? What am I talk, talking about here? 자랑하는 거예요? Am I boasting about myself? 내가 내가 말했잖아. 부끄럽다고. I told you I am embarrassed. 이건 사실 응답도 아니야. Honestly, this is not an answer. 하나님이 기, 하나님 너무 귀여워서 그냥 보너스 주신 거예요. But just that, you know, God, I guess took me too adorable so he just gave me a bonus. 20 버는 게 응답이지. So 20 getting like 20 millions that would be an answer. 그 지금 우리가 몇백 푸씩 받아 가지고 살고 있는데 어? 여러분들 앞으로 지금 그 단물에서 돈 벌을 사람들이 아니라니까. So we sustain our lives with making, you know, few hundred dollars, but we are not, you know, especially both of you, we're not, you're not the people who will make sustain your money with uh, working in the sweet water. 어떤 친구들은 사과 가게에서 일하더라고. And then I've seen some other people working in Apple. Apple store 사과 가게잖아. 거기서 like, 일하는 친구들도 있고. And Apple store, and there were people who were working there. 우리는 그런 사람들이 아니라니까. We're not the people like that. 앞으로 큰 응답 받아야 된다니까. You need to receive great answer in the future. 성교가 지금 여기 저기 가서 막 음, 과외도 하고 알바도 하고 물론 여러분 시간표가 그렇고 그래서 규모를 배우는 건 맞는데요. 그게 내 퓨처는 아니라는 거예요. So Joshua is going here and there. He's tutoring. He's also working. He has a job. It's something that we have to do to maintain our basics and the scale. We, it's not something that will determine our future, though. 축복합니다. 우리 알렉스가 우리 교회에서 11조 제일 많이 하는 장로님 대출 축복합니다. So, I bless you, Alex. I bless you to become the elder who gives the most offering to our church. 성교가 만약에 부럽 그게 좀 짜증 난다. 더 벌어 버려. So Joshua, you feel a little bit envy about that, then you can make more money, I guess. 또 요셉이가 또 나도 질수 없지. Why not? And then Joseph could be like, why not? And he can make more money. 지금 돈을 버는 게 응답이냐? Am I talking about making money? That's not what I'm talking about. 지금부터 결단을 내리자니까요. Make a resolution starting now. 내 영적 상태를 어떻게 만들어야 돼? How can you set your spiritual state? 가장 멋있는 영적 상태가 되면 돼. You just have to have the most classic spiritual state. 예수는 그리스도. Jesus is the Christ. 모든 문제겠죠. The solution to all of our problems. 예수는 그리스도. Jesus is the Christ. 모든 문제겠죠. Solution to all problems. 맞아요? 그리스도 안에 다 있어. Everything is in Christ. 그 안에는 지혜와 지식의 모든 바 감춰 있느냐? It says the treasure, wisdom, and knowledge are all hidden in Christ. 하늘과 땅의 모든 권세를 가진 그분이 지금 내 안에. And the one who has the authority of heaven and earth is inside of us. 하늘도 만드시고 땅도 만드신 그 하나님이 지금 나와 함께. And the one who created the heaven and the earth, that God is with us right now. 천지를 창조하신 하나님이 살아 계시는데. And the God who created the entire universe is alive. 그분이 나의 모든 형편을 아시는데. And He knows all our situations and circumstances. 그래서 오늘 본문 읽었어요 우리가. So that's why we read today's Bible verse today. 먼저 그의 나라와 그의 일을 구하라. Seek first, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. 그리하면 이 모든 것을 너에게 더하시리라. And then all these things will be added to you. 그 응답을 가지고 세상 살리는 게 우리의 사명이라고. Saving our world with that answer. That's what it means to. 응답이 없으면 전도도 안 되게 돼. To save. And if you don't have answers, we can't save. 여러분들이 하는 것마다 응답이 쏟아져 나오기를 축복합니다. Whatever you do, I bless you to have answers over. 여러분 가는 곳이 복을 받게 되길 바랍니다. I bless wherever you go to be blessed. 어떻게 하면 되냐? 그 현장 흑암 꺾어야 돼. What do we do? We have to block or break down the forces of darkness in the field. 근데 저는 한국에서 군대 갔다 왔어요. So I had I was in the military in Korea. 뭐 여기서 이제 군대 가야 될 사람도 있고 안 가도 되는 사람도 있지. And there are people who have to go to military or don't have to. 거의 다안갈것 같은데. I think the vast majority of you won't be. 저는 갔다 왔어요. But I did anyway. 근데 군대는요. 사람 사는 곳이 아니에요. But military is not a place where people reside. 군인들이 사는 곳이에요. Soldiers go there. 거기는 사람이 안 살고 군인이 삽니다. So people don't go to military. Soldiers go to the military. 그러니까 사람들이요 되게 상막해요. 
So that's why people are, you know, the people have this awkward uh, 자유가 없어요. circumstance. So they don't have freedom there. 그러니까 서로 서로 이 스트레스가 많아요. And so then each other, the people have all their stresses. 굉장히 힘든 사회예요. And so that itself inside is quite a difficult society. 거기서요 기도하기 시작했어요. And there I began to pray. 그냥 혼자서 기도했어. I just prayed alone. 밤 10시가 되면 무조건 취침입니다. And every night at 10 o'clock sharp we have to go to sleep. 10시부터 10시 반까지는 움직이면 안 돼. And from 10 to 10:30 we can't even budge. 왜안 되냐면 그때는 이제 불침번들이 돌아다니면서 인원 점검을 하기 때문에 그 자리에 가만 누워 있어. Because the rangers will go around and will check people if people are asleep so we can't even move. 그때는 고참들도 안 괴롭혀. So then not even my seniors could bother me. 누워서 30분 동안 기도했어요. But so then I would lie down and I would pray for 30 minutes. 주는 그리스도시요 살아계신 하나님의 아들이시. I say, Lord, you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. 나를 이곳에 보내신 하나님의 뜻이 있는 줄 믿습니다. And I believe there is a will that you have sent me here for. 주님께서 이 시간에 성령으로 나에게 역사. And Lord, may you work upon me through the Holy Spirit. 이 현장 역사는 모든 흑암 저주의 세력은 예수 이름으로 결박하고 있어요. May all the forces of darkness that's working upon this field break down in the name of Jesus Christ. 진짜 기적이 일어났어요. And truly, miracle happened. 다 말할 수가 없어. I can't express everything. 한 가지만 말하면요, 우리 부대가 대통령 표창을 받았어요. But if I were to tell you one thing, my platoon received a presidential award. 얼마나 큰 상이냐, 전 부대원이 다 휴가 받았어. How great of a award is it? It's an award that granted the vacation time to all platoon members. 우리 부대는 받을 수 없는 상이었어. It was a it was a reward that we didn't even imagine receiving. 우리 부대는요, 그냥 월급 주는 부대예요. It was an award that you know we didn't imagine receiving, and our platoon is just a platoon where we, you know, we are paid. Financial department 하는 그런 우리 우리 부대가 그런 부대였어. But basically, we are the platoon or a department where we would be in charge of the finances. 그런데 나는 그 중에서 어, 어 단장님 모시고 다니는 드라이버였고요. And then I was one of the drivers for uh, general. Uh, a general. 그런데 우리 부대는 절대로 그런 큰 상을 받을 수 있는 부대가 아니었다니까. Anyhow, I tell you, we were not a, a platoon where we could receive that kind of award. 그런 상은 간첩을 잡든지, 뭐 어마어마한 상을 어마어마한 공을 세운 특수 부대들이 받는 상이에요. So it's an award that usually is granted or rewarded to the people who basically caught a spy or someone who has done a great virtue to a country. 근데 우리 부대가 받았어. But we received it. 내가 기도했는데. That year when I prayed. 누구 때문에 받은 거예요? So why did we receive it? 누구 때문에 받은 거야? Because of whom did we receive it? 나 때문에 주위가 다 복을 받게 돼 있어. All the people around me were blessed because of me. 그런 게 한두 개가 아니에요. That's not just one or two stories that I have like that. 오늘 대장님이 불렀어. One time my sergeant called me. 이 어떻게 네가 하는 건 이렇게 다 일이 잘 되냐? And he said that how is it that whatever you do is just working just so fine? 어디서 많이 들어온 거 아니에요? Have you heard about that? 보디발이 요셉에게 한 말이잖아요. It's, it's the same word that part of our said to Joseph. 불신자 대장님이 나한테 그랬다니까. So this unbelieving sergeant told me. 야, 이 병장아, 네가 하는 일을 왜 이렇게 다잘 되니? But privately, whatever you do is just working out so fine. 진짜 여러분이 현장에서 축복 받게 되게 축복합니다. So I bless you to really receive the blessings in your fields. 그때 우리가요 전도할 수 있는 거예요. Then we can evangelize. 여러분 우리를 왜 불렀습니까? Why were we called? 그냥도 교회 다닐 수 있고 그냥 일하면 되는데 왜 초대 교회로 불렀냐고? We could just just go to church. We could just have worship, but why were we called into the church? 한국에 살고 있는 정복이를 왜 하나님이 미국에 보냈냐고? Think about it. 우리 교회로. Joshua was living in Korea, just fine. But why did God send Joshua to America and also to our church, especially? 분명 이거 있는 거 아니에요? Of course, there's a mission, right? Clearly. 여러분에게 주어진 천명이 뭐냐고? What is the heavenly mandate that's given to us? 나에게 주어진 소명은 뭐냐고요? What about the calling that's given to us? 이거 가지고 살아가는 거라고. We have to live our lives with this. 이게 오늘 메시지였어요. That was our message today. 6월절, 오순절, 수장절. Passover, Pentecost, and Feast of Being Gathering. 결론. Conclusion. 나의 천명, 소명, 사명은 무엇인가? What is my heaven mandate, calling, and mission? 여러분 오늘 찾아내게 되길 바랍니다. I hope you find it today. 포럼의 주제. That's our forum topic. 나의 천명, 소명, 사명은 뭐냐? What is my heaven mandate, calling, and mission? 하나님이 나에게 주신 천명은 뭐냐? What is the heaven the mandate that God has given to me? 두 번째 각인을 완전히 바꿔야 되는데 
어떻게 바꾸냐? And we also have to change our imprint. How can we change it? 세 번째 결단을 Thirdly, 내리세요. Let's make a resolution. 진짜 우리 우선순위 바꿔 봅시다. Let's change our priority. 바꿔 보자니까. Really change it. 시간이 좀 갔는데요. 마지막 간증만 하고 마칠게요. So we don't have much time, but I will talk about the last uh, testimony and finish it. 대학을 다닐 때인데 복음을 알게 됐어요. I was in college and I came to know about the gospel. 그 전에는 영적 문제 시달렸어. And before that I had spiritual problems. 근데 복음 받은 게 너무 좋으니까요. 말씀이 너무 좋더라고. But because I was so joyful for the fact that I received the gospel, I just loved the gospel. 매일 교회 가서 예배했어. So every day I went to church and worshiped. 물론 그 전에도 내가 매일 교회 가서 기도했어. Of course even before that I went to the church to pray every day. 내가 정복이보다 어릴 때 중고등학교 때 6년 동안 매일 교회 가서 매일 교회 가서 방과 후에 교회 가서 30분 이상 기도하고 집에 가서. When I was younger than Joshua, I would go to church every single day and worship and pray and then go back home. 물론 집에서도 기도할 수 있죠. Of course I could do that at home. 우리 내가 다녔던 목교회는 지하실에 기도실이라는 게 있었어. But um, the church that I used to go to, to uh, my mother church, um, we would had a, a prayer room downstairs. 근데 거기는요 24시간 개방을 해요. And then that room open 24 hours a day. 24시간 개방하니까 거지들도 오고 막 그래. And because it was open 24 hours a day, even beggars would come in. 위험할 수도 있어요. Like homeless people would come in, and it could be dangerous even. 아니 여, 여자 신도님들 기도하다 혼자 기도하다가 일을 당할 수도 있잖아요. Sometimes you know ladies may be praying in the prayer room and then find another man. 강도가 there. 찾아올 수도 있고. And even a thief could come in, right? 근데 목사님이 정, 철책이 뭐냐? 24시간 기도가 끊어지지 않는 교회가 되게 하자라고 했어요. But pastor said uh, he already made a suggestion to raise a church or make a church not cease praying. 근데 어쨌든 나는 그게 좋아서요. 그, 그 기도실에 매 가서 기도하고 뭐 나중에 제가 뭐 말할 기회가 있으면 말하겠습니다만 내, 내 방도 없었고 집도 너무 가난해서요. 밤에 그냥 자다가 덥고 그러면 교회 갔어. Anyhow, I loved praying and um, because of the all the things that I wanted to pray for, I would just you know, finish my task and go to church pray. 나는 옥상에서 살았거든. I used to live in a, a, a rooftop. 옥상에서 텐트 쳐놓고요. 3월 달부터 10월까지 살았어요. 1년에. I used 1년에. to live in a rooftop um, for a year with a tent on the rooftop from March to October. 여름엔 너무 덥고요. And then, you know, if, if you live in the rooftop, it would be so hard during summer. 그냥 그냥 교회 가서 기도하다 자고 그랬어. Anyhow, I would go to the church, pray, and then go to sleep. 근데 대학교 때 복음 받고 나서요 너무 좋아서 매일 교회 가서 예배. But after receiving the gospel in the college here, I was just so joyful that I went to church every single day to pray. 대학생 때할게 많잖아. There are a lot of things you have to do in college years. 뭐할게 있어요? What do you have to do? 연애도 해야 되고. You have to date. 여자친구도 만나야 되고. You have to meet your girlfriend basically. 데이트도 해야 되고. You have to date and go out and same 많아, thing, 그치? right? 어. There are a lot of things you have to do. 여자친구 만나야 되고 데이트하고. 어? 어. 할게 얼마나 많아. You think about it. You have to date. You have to meet, meet your girlfriend. 공부는 잘안 했으니까 내가 그 양심상 말 못하겠고. 어. But I didn't study that well, so I can't really talk about that either. 어쨌든 숙제도 좀 해야 돼. But anyway, we have assignments you have to do. 근데 매일 갔어. When you're in college, but I went to church every single day. 그래서 내가 깨달았어. 아 매일 교회하면서. And then I realized, you know, there are things you can do every every day as you come to church. You can, you, and there's a method by which you can date as you come to church every day, and that's to date in the church. 매일 교회 가서 연, 어, 연애도 받고 님도 보고. So then I would go to church every single day, so that I would receive grace, and I would also see my girlfriend there. 매일 교회 갔어요. So I went to church every single day, and, 그래서 매일 만났어. and I met. Every single day. 그러다 어느 날 매일 같이 살잖아요 지금. And we've met every single day, and now we live every single day together. 대학생 때할게 많지만 우선순위 예배한다. There are many things that I had to do in my college years, but my priority was to worship. 수요예배, 철회예배는 당연한 거고. The Wednesday, Friday service was all obvious. 전도학교 세 군데 다녔어. And then I also went to the evangelism school, three different places. 우리 집에 우리 집 근처에 지역 전도학교 있었고요. 
And my region, we had a regional evangelism school. 그다음에 대학에 대학 전도학교 있었고요. My college, our campus, we had the college evangelism school as well. 하도 문제 있는 사람 많으니까 치유 전도학교 있었어. And then because there are people who had so many problems, I guess we had the healing evangelism school. 수요일에 갔지, 철야에 갔지. I went to the Wednesday service and Friday service. 거기다가 전도 신학원 다녔어. 야간. And then I also went to the night classes for the evangelism institute. 그럼 끝이 아니에요. That wasn't, it. That wasn't it. I also attended the Monday, second, Monday, Tuesday conferences. 주일날은 적어도 교회 열네 시간 이상 있었어. And then on Sunday, I would stay at church at least fourteen hours. 하나님 날 축복하시더라고. But God blessed me. 왜? Why? 우선순위가 내가 정해졌어. Because my priority was set. 공부를 못했냐? 그래도 하나님 은혜로 장학금도 받았어. I studied quite well so that I could receive, you know, by the grace of God, I received scholarships even. 내가 공부를 잘하진 않는다니까. I told you before, I don't, I don't study that well. 근데 진짜 하나님 은혜로 장학금도 주시더라고. Really, by the grace of God, I received a scholarship based on merit. 나 주시는 거야, 밥지. If I, if I, if it's granted to me, that I'm going to receive it. If someone wants to give it to me, that I will receive it. 그거를 고사할 필요는 없지. Do I have to oppose it? Do I have to refuse it? No. 우리가 우선순위를 어디에 정하느냐가 중요한 거야. So where do we set our priority is what's important. 이해되십니까? Do you understand? 그래서 우리 결단 한번 내려보자니까요. So let's make our resolution. 결단을 내려서 이번 주간에 우리 포럼 할 때요. 진짜 어떻게 살아갈지 한번 생각해 보자. Let's determine our hearts so then set how we're going to live our lives throughout the week. 지난번에 말씀드렸죠. 저는 자신은 없어요. I'm not confident. 그런데요. 확신은 있어요. But I do have a conviction. Assurance 있다고. 하나님은 확실히 하실 거니까. So I have this assurance, which is conviction. I know that for sure I'm convinced that God will do it, right? 왜냐? 나는 자신감이 나는 할수 없어. Why? Because I can't do it. 하나님은 하시. I don't have a confidence because I can't do it, but I have a conviction because God will do it. 맞아요? Is that right? 알아 듣고 있는 중이 오신 중이신 I don't know if you are understanding exactly what I'm talking about. 그래서 한번 어. 이게 믿져봐야 본전이 아니고 이거 진짜 남는 장사예요. But really, it's something that you can do. 한국 속담에 어 믿져봐야 본전이란 말은 해보라는 거거든. 그래도 안안안 믿지니까 해보라는 거거든요. So Korea, uh, there's a Korean proverb um, that goes 믿져봐야 본전, and that means that you know, like if you if you're in a game and then do some. Uh, People usually say that even if you were to put some sort of token, it's going to come back anyway. So you're going to reap what you have sown. So don't worry about it. Just try it, basically. 근데 이거는요 확실히 남는 거예요. But I tell you, it's not something like that. I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to definitely leave behind some fruits. 청년들, 대학생들은 잘안 된다는데 될줄 믿습니다. And sometimes college students think that it's not going to work, but I believe it. They will. 나, 나도 안 됐었어. It didn't happen for me either. 지금 내가 뭐 된다 이런 얘기하기 부끄럽지만요. 나도 진짜 안 됐었는데 내가 영적 문제 많다가 복음 안에 들어오니까 그게 다 발판되더라고. It is embarrassing for me to say that it happens now, but anyway, um, I used to not happen for me, but when I came into the gospel, it all took place. 복음 언약을 회복합시다. Let's restore the gospel covenant. 기도합시다. Let's pray. 주님 감사합니다. Lord, we thank you. 정말로 우리가 하나님이신 천명 소명 사명을 회복하도록 축복하옵소서. Which bless us so that we can restore the heavenly mandate, calling and mission. 구원의 비밀, 복음의 비밀을 누리게 하시고. Let us enjoy the the mystery of the gospel and the and the mystery of salvation. 성령 충만함을 누리게 하시고. Let us enjoy the filling of the Holy Spirit. 하나님에게 나에게 주신 사명을 회복하게 하옵소서. Also, let us restore the mission that you give. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도드립니다. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.